Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Capricorn. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So, um, for your reading, uh, I will be using the Astro Dice, the Tarot Dice, and a combination of Oracle and uh, Tarot cards to bring you your messages. So beginning with the Astro Dice, we have the fifth house. Um, we also have the uh, symbol for Taurus and we also have Saturn. Okay, so beginning with the fifth house. This is a house of, of, of pleasure, of what gives us pleasure. It is a house of gambling, um, gambling in love, um, gambling fortunes. It's risk-taking. It's fun and games, um, but there's always that edge to it, you know. Uh, there's always a risk to it. Um, it could be playing games, uh, the game of romance. In this, whatever this is, I feel it was like a... Um, somebody feels like somebody was playing games with them or maybe uh, you took a risk on somebody and it ended up I feel with Taurus that feelings got hurt um, somebody could be holding a grudge um, so either your feelings got hurt or you hurt somebody's feelings it can go both ways. Um, you could be uh, keeping your feelings uh, contained. Saturn's here, so it's like it's, this is about taking responsibility uh, for something. Um, you could face some kind of a test uh, or need to make some area of your life more efficient. Um, you need to be more conscious at this time of your decisions, especially when it comes to love and romance, uh, to taking risks of any kind. Um, they ask you to be aware of the consequences that will follow these decisions. Okay. So now let's move to the dice. Um, the dice are red as they fall. So if they fall up, they're red like that. Reverse to the side, they're red like that. You have the Six of Cups on its side, along with Death on its side, Four of Swords in the upright, and the Ace of Cups on its side. I feel like something is in suspension. It's kind of like hanging there. Somebody took a risk, and there was loss. Loss was incurred, but something just hangs there. Um, I feel like uh, there's a time apart or a break or there was um, there was a change in status. So you let's say you're dating this person and then suddenly you break up. So there was a change in status in your status, in their status or in the status of this uh, relationship. Whether it was new uh, or I, I feel like this is somebody from your, it's somebody possibly from your deep past, possibly for somebody, because I have the history, history here and it's clarified with the six, uh, the six of cups. So the history card is, is past situations past people it can speak to the very deep past um, a person that resurfaces okay 
you don't know if somebody at this point, you don't know if this person is coming back. You don't know if it's over. You don't know if uh, there is still a relationship or that you don't know if there will be in the future because that's in front of, of you here on its side. And the fool is just hanging there from the edge. So you could be feeling very much on edge. And so here we have the card of humanity at the heart of the reading. Um, so this is reckoning with failure. So something failed. Um, you may feel like you made a mistake or you are wanting to make up for one. Um, this card can speak to the action of uh, regaining a possession of something or re regaining uh, some uh, a, a relationship. Um, it could be uh, the clearing up of something or of a debt or coming clean. Clearing, clearing something up by coming clean. It can be the cost of something. What would be the cost of that action? Nine of Swords is in the reverse. So um, this can be uh, revealing, confessing. That's what I think it is. It, it, because this is about the cost, weighing up the cost. And, and in the reverse, this person has something to confess. Whatever it was gave them a lot of worry previously. Enough that it could keep them awake at night, you know. They had a secret and now they want to confess. They're feeling stuck. Uh, I feel like they want to go forward, but maybe, or move forward, uh, but don't know how or uh, don't know the cost, uh, the cost of something, so. Six of Cups again, and the lovers. This could be about a lover. Somebody may have taken a risk because this is games in love. This is about risk, uh, risking gambling. And this person now is alone and they're looking back at what they've done. And they're looking back at what? They're looking back at the lovers in the past. the cost of something again. Something culminated and it blew. So there was the risk, there was a cost for uh, a consequence, for an action, for a risk that somebody took in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, for how something was possibly managed. And so we have here um, the lantern and the uh, and the Ace of Cups. So the lantern, you could be seeking um, guidance, or uh, you may have a feeling uh, about uh, this Ace of Cups. Um, you may be looking for a way forward to get to the Ace of Cups because the lantern leads the way, it lights the way. So you could be seeking a, a, a way, a solution. You may want to know because this is just hanging, it's in suspension. And speaking of hanging, here we have the hangman trying to understand something. So he's put himself in this position and he's trying to understand something. 
He put himself in this position through a decision or action that he took. And now there's a consequence. And this person may have kept something from the other person, possibly. And there's now a need to step up. Okay, and take responsibility. Because they've got information, you see. Ace of Swords is in the reverse. So they've got information uh, to offer, most likely, that could clear all of this up. Or maybe they're in this position because uh, uh, because of this information they have. Like, yeah. So what would be the cost if this person steps up and, let's say, uh, reveals this information? There's a lot of worry <laughs> about the cost of something. We have the future card here, and we also have a distorted version of the love here. Some, Yeah, I feel like uh, it's possible something shocking came out. It got spilt. Um, the person's not sure where they belong anymore, possibly. Um, there's a lot of worry about the future as they dissect this uh, situation. Worry over things that may not even occur. So it speaks to the anxieties that this person has. Feelings are contained. Uh, this person can be secretive. They are looking, they're feeling trapped, um, possibly by something that they are keeping secret. This comes back to this, this, this secret. But what they look at, you see, is the elixir. So whatever this is, they greatly desire this healing but um, it seems to be uh, the cost of letting this information out or of opening up is what holds them here. Uh, yeah, so I feel like there's a really strong attraction between you and this person. I mean, uh, there's very intense attraction here going on. Um, somebody has been keeping information uh, from the other, though. Um, I mean, maybe the information this person is keeping is that uh, that they were married or that they were in another relationship. But whatever it is, is something uh, it makes them very worried to disclose this information. Or maybe somebody else is married and they don't want to disclose how they truly feel because it would make them very vulnerable. And so we have a... Um, somebody has information and... Um, they've lost something and they really want that that whatever it is or whomever it is back <laughs> look at them here those coins feel like they're out of reach look at the nails digging into the wood yeah so <clears throat> and whatever it is there's a very there's very intense feelings uh, and they the thing is they have the information that could clear all of this up they have to step forward and speak up, though. Maybe uh, maybe this is difficult for them. Um, They have the sun. Okay, the sun is, is the final card in, in this reading. And it is about clearing things up. It is restoring the peace and the harmony. 
whatever was hidden, uh, whatever was kept uh, from you uh, does come out here. Or vice versa, you know. Communication is coming. Somebody, somebody has decided to get up and fight. Look at this, this horse here. They're going into battle. They, they've, I feel like they just decide that, you know, um, I'm going to fight for this. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to go for it. So, expect communication. Somebody's coming forward. If, if this sounds like it's your story, um, somebody's coming forward to clear something up. Whomever this is, they do, uh, they do love you. Ace of Cups is here. Temperance. Oh, look at that. King, he's a repeating card. So there's a happy event that takes place in the future. You could hear with the salamander here. You could hear something that might surprise you. And I, and I think I think it does surprise you uh, because they're very afraid to tell you something. So whatever it is with the salamander sitting in his hand, it's going to surprise you. This is about a reconciliation. And somebody is getting a wish. Um, so if that wish was to escape this situation that they're currently stuck in, then that wish is granted. If they were wishing to clear this up, that wish is granted, but somebody gets a wish. This could be a wish for a healing. Somebody is coming in to speak a truth, and I feel like it might just be very emotional here, whatever it is they have to tell you. So I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.